students tried to physically hit a girl and commit school bullying back then. Wu Jin was accused of wrongdoings. These are some of the many issues that surround stray kids, and it shows that, even in a colorful world of fame, there's a darker side. In this video, we are going to talk about the dark truth of what happened to stray kids and the cloud of scandal that looms over them. With contracts set to expire in 2025 and loaded with serious accusations, what lies ahead for stray kids? Stray Kids Hitting Number 1 You see, their latest album 5 Star has not only climbed but conquered the Billboard 200 chart, and if you thought you knew music, you won't believe this. Keep watching. Because 5 Star is their third consecutive number one album, it's clear that they're not just on a roll, they're on a rocket. From the moment Spring Kiss 2022, Stray Kids started their climb, and they've risen. Their sales exploded with every new beat and tune, echoing their ever-growing dominance. Let's rewind a bit to March 2022 because it's a defining moment for Stray Kids when they etched their name in K-pop history by becoming one of the selected South Korean groups to clinch that coveted number one spot on the Billboard 200 with their EP, Ordinary. Many thought it was a peak, but little did they know it was just the beginning of a monumental journey. Some might have thought it was a mere flash of success, but Stray Kids had other plans. By the time 2022 was drawing its curtains, Stray Kids silenced any doubters. Their album, Maxident, screamed from the rooftops, clinching yet another number one spot, effectively doubling their chart-topping accolades. Now, predicting the future of music is tricky, but with Stray Kids, the signs are all there. In their next album, there is a buzzing energy, a hint in the air that it might not only follow the same electrifying trajectory, but even surpass 5 Star in its glory. The Creative Minds Behind Stray Kids Stray Kids is blending hip-hop, rap, and electric rush of EDM, but their magnetism doesn't just lie in beats and rhythm because their words are dripping with raw emotions and speak of struggles every youth is facing, from mental health and finding oneself, to the weight of societal expectations. Through their music, they send hope, saying you're not alone, we're here for you. Each member of this band is a universe in himself. Bang Chan, the visionary, Lee No, the melody master, Chan Bin, the wordsmith, Hyun Jin, the dance dynamo, Han, with tales woven in rap, Felix, the status radiant son, Swing Min, the vocal chameleon, and I N, the melody magician. But beyond their music and performances lies a story yet untold, so stay with us. Stray Kids originally had nine members. Every chord Kim Woojin struck, every note he sang echoed deep in the hearts of millions. But in 2019, a shockwave ran through, and you won't believe this. Keep watching. From the debut of Stray Kids in 2017, Woojin was a cornerstone. As the lead vocalist and the eldest in the group, he was the voice that captivated the masses. But as the sun started to set in 2019, dark clouds hovered. JYP Entertainment made the heavy-hearted announcement that Woojin was parting ways. In a message, the JYP said Woo Jin, who has been with Stray Kids as a member until this time, has left the group due to personal circumstances and terminated his exclusive contract. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused many fans. But is this the truth? Well, here's the… Two reasons why Kim Woo Jin leaves Stray Kids. First, Woo Jin made other members of Stray Kids uncomfortable. The stage is set and the atmosphere is electric in Guan Chart Music Awards in 2018. Stray Kids, the sensation of the hour, is called upon to grace the stage. But within it, this celebrated moment, fans witnessed a subtle yet charged interaction unfold. As the group marches forward, basking in their achievement, Wu Jin reaches out to guide Yun Jin, seemingly a gesture of friendship. But what happens next is truly disturbing. Yun Jin, rather than accepting Wu Jin's gesture, clasps their youngest Ian, pulling him close, almost as if to shield him. The hand that Wu Jin offered. Hyu Jin rejects it and pushes it away with a decisiveness that's hard to miss. And Wu Jin's response was a swift move away, distancing himself from the core group, his actions speaking louder than words. I N head bowed, Hyu Jin was visibly upset and their collective unease in Wu Jin's presence was clear. With their eagle-eyed observations, fans couldn't help but point out Hyu Jin's evident displeasure. This moment leads to many questions like why Wu Jin left Stray Kids? Did his interactions with members like this one play any role? Well, if you watch this video until the end, you will know the answer. Second reason, Wu Jin's sexual harassment accusation. The tweet was on September 8th, 2020, and it painted a dark picture, remembering an encounter with Wu Jin, alleging that the idol made unwanted advances to her, ignoring her pleas to stop. But just as quickly as the storm started, Wu Jin stood his ground. He highlighted the situation and posted on Twitter and Instagram, rejecting the accusations. I've never met her. I've never even been to those places, he asserted, but his defense was soon deleted from Twitter. Hyun Jin bullying scandal. Amid the success of the K-drama, The Glory, an old shadow has resurfaced, casting a dark cloud over stray kids, Hyu Jin. This series shows us the world of school bullying. Now, as audiences worldwide are grippled by the series, the whispers from the past have returned and conversations are now rekindling online, drawing lines between the on-screen story and Hyu Jin's once controversial bullying allegations. The post says Hyu Jin said inappropriate comments with a sexual undertone and tried to hurt a girl physically. 
You see, the girl who posted this online and Hyojin went to the same schools but never shared a class in middle school. And in second grade, this person starts to hear Hyojin saying some not so nice words. Around this time, this girl had just split with one of Hyojin's friends and began dating someone new. And then the bullying starts. One of Hyojin's close girlfriends took to social media saying she's always frequently changing boyfriends. And the very next day, Hyunjin and his friends go into this girl's new boyfriend's class and say trash dating trash. And when Hyunjin tried to confront them asking are you dating again and tried to hit her physically, people around stopped him. In third grade, she made a simple post on Facebook. It's nothing to do with Hyunjin, but for anyone else, yet out of nowhere. Hyunjin and his friends started flooding the comments with insults. Viewers and netizens are furiously voicing their thoughts, some lashing out at Hyunjin's fans for standing by him amidst the storm. One user said, after seeing the glory, how can fans still shield Hyunjin? What if their own child faced terror like the show's protagonist? One fan said, would draw already, I even hate seeing stray kids. JYP Entertainment didn't stay quiet by saying, let's ensure we have the full story before we conclude our judgment. JYP E also announced, we intend to find out the facts and we'll be taking various methods to conduct a detailed investigation so that nothing is warped. We will be taking legal action against the rumors that are being spread. Our agency will do its best to uncover the truth as well as protect its artists. But honestly, is Hyun Jin a bully? JYP Entertainment came forward to know the truth, laying all cards on the table. At the same time, Hyun Jin had taken the initiative, meeting face to face with people from his past, and JYP E expressed a deep regret. Not for Hyun Jin, but for the news sent to their fans. They had been searching for the truth, reaching out to every corner of Hyun Jin's school days, his classmates, teachers, and even the very individual who had thrown these accusations. But despite their efforts, the past was clouded with hazy memories and events that couldn't be pinpointed with clarity. The JYPE acknowledging the issue said, We will do our best to be more careful during the selection process when we take in trainees and artists. But if we are going to get back to Gon Chart Music Awards in 2018, we see the bully side of Hyun Jin and his sometimes uncontrollable emotion. And you know, the favorite time for bullies to hit their victim is when so many people are watching. And this is a perfect scene to do it, throwing the hands of Wu Jin in front of thousands of people. That's a behavior of a bully. And if someone will take that as a valid source, Hyun Jin was probably a bully. So if you are a massive fan of Hyun Jin but a victim of bullying and just discovered this right now, do you still idolize him? What are your thoughts about this? Leave what you feel in the comment section below. Now with this bullying issue, will Stray Kids disband? In 2025, the contract between Stray Kids Bond and JYP Entertainment is set to expire. Will they continue the journey with JYP? Well, unlike Blackpink, 2NE1, Twice, and other big K-pop groups, the Stray Kids is a self-produced band, meaning if they release a song, they do the songwriting, composing, dance choreography, and producing. So they have the flexibility to change the environment or labels, and it didn't affect the quality of their work as a band. Meaning the expiration of their contracts with JYP Entertainment isn't big as it is if YG Entertainment wants to leave Blackpink behind. 2NE1 is a perfect example of this, and you can watch the dark truth behind 2NE1 disbandment by clicking the link in the description below. So given such power, the only thing that can disband the Stray Kids is misunderstanding and losing a personal connection with each other. And as we talked about this earlier, this happened before, Hyun Jin rejecting the hand of Woo Jin. But in recent interviews, the members didn't just talk about music, they spoke about brotherhood, that their bond is thicker than any contract. They see themselves not just as bandmates, but as family. So what do you think? Will Stray Kids disband?